Hello everybody, I'm Daniel Montiglio from Foreigner BG and today we are with our friend Katia from the Stone Forest Winery in Varna. We're going to speak today about the traditional Bulgarian kind of wine. Hello Katia. Hi. How are Hi, you today? Great. Uh, we see there that you have a Barnensky Musket. Musket. Misket. Yes, this is a typical local variety, one of maybe many. Um, it's hard to say. There are a, f um, a few typical. There are many typical Bulgarian varieties. This is one of uh, one of them. It's typical for this region. Uh, Varneski misket is uh, fresh wines with a great bouquet of uh, citrus and uh, flowers. It's a great, great, great summer wine. Which, which other are the, the traditional Bulgarian wines? Can, can you tell us a bit? Well, uh, I can tell you some of them because um, we have a great traditions uh, from long, long, long times uh, of making wine. And uh, for example, during the Soviet Union, we were second in the world in wine production. We were really, really, really huge Amazing. in wine production, yes. And um, during that time and later, there were um, different varieties that were sorted between um, other typical varieties. For example, this one is a combination of Dimyat and Riesling. It was sorted uh, in the, maybe in the 40s, I think. And um, it became Varnesky Misket. It's something different that is typical for here, uh, but it was combined from two different uh, sort varieties that were uh, popular in other countries as well. But some of the main, um, most, um, some of the most popular ones are Mavrut. Maybe the most popular uh, wine. It's um, for great red wines. Uh -huh. It's a um, it's a great variety because from Mavrut you can make a very light wine, but you can make strong, full-bodied, um, heavy wine, so to say. Mm -hmm. We have Mavrut. We have a Varnesky Musket Gamsa. What is what is about Gamsa? Gamsa. It's a, there is a nice story about Gamsa. It's. Um, it's a typical variety for uh, maybe the w northwest of Bulgaria um, in this region. Um, you have great red wines, Gamsa. And uh, there is a legend that uh, there was a king, so to say, uh -huh. and he had three daughters, Vida, Kula and Gamsa. And he had a great kingdom. And um, before he died, he told them to always stick together and never separate. But they did. And uh, later, uh, where the wine stayed, it was uh, the daughter Gamza. It was the smallest uh, one, the younger one, the youngest one. So the wine became the name of her. <laughs> Gamza. That's a nice story. It's uh, personally for me, it's one great variety. You can um, have great, great, great wines. They're very rich in aroma, very rich in the body, and have uh, mm. wonderful, wonderful. What about there is some other white wine that is especially uh, for Bulgaria? For for Bulgaria, we had we we said Mavrut, we said Gamza, we we said uh, this uh, Varnenski misket. There is Vrachanski misket from Vratza. Okay. There is uh, Varnenska Temenuga. It's uh, different varieties. It's uh, we have uh, other ones. Uh, Rubin. It's a great variety as well for red wines. We have um, typical ones that are not so popular. For example, uh, Pamit. Pamit is a very old local variety but uh, uh, due to that that uh, it's the wine that come from Pamit they're very they're table wines you know it's a yes. very simple taste and you have no um, no bouquet in the in the in the aroma you have nothing <laughs> and, okay. and people don't like it so much when you compare to the to the other varieties it's not so um, which are which are the regions wine regions in Bulgaria? Is it 
you can cultivate uh, grapes and do wine in all Bulgaria or there is some yes. special part? Yes, yes. Uh, Bulgaria is beautiful for winemaking because you can use all of it. And uh, in the north, for example, you can have the great white wines. Okay. And in the south, when you have more sunny days and uh, when it's drier, you have the great red wines. You have... Uh, uh, I think there are seven regions and I'm not so sure because everybody divides them in a different way but you can divide it simply by western, uh, northwestern, um, the Danube uh, plain, um, the north of the Black Sea and the south of the Black Sea the Saka region, uh, south of Bulgaria, and the uh, west-south part. In the, in the, usually in, on the west and on the south. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if they're gonna see it, but you can show so it there. Here you have the Danube plain. Here is the uh, northwestern and the Saka region. Okay. Here is the Thracian valley. We have the Rose Valley, where we have great. Um, Yes. So it's it's really great. It In the really last ten years, a lot of small wineries developed, and now you can have really boutique wine. It's not just uh, this uh, great uh, manufacturers who uh, sell like uh, millions of bottles. No, you have something that somebody cares about, and it's really small, and it's all he's got. Mm -hmm. can, can you tell us about uh, your wine and the winery of your family? What, how many hectares you have here? Which kind of wine do you grow or grapes do you grow? Um, we started um, maybe around uh, 2012 and we, we grew step by step. We are not fully grown yet <laughs> because uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy for uh, for everything and it takes a time to find the perfect technology to make it because every year is different you cannot have the Cabernet from last year like the Cabernet from this year and okay. vice versa it's you just have to combine lots of stuff to get the recipe and um, as varieties we have Cabernet we have Pinot Noir as, and I think we have a little bit of Merlot I'm not sure um, not so not so much of the red wines because they're not so powerful in in this uh, part of the of, uh, in this part of bulgaria and from the white ones we have um, traminer we have uh, varneski miskit and we have chardonnay we also have um, we also produce rosé wine which is really nice, nice. Um, but really this region is more for the whites and for rosé which wine you will recommend to somebody that is coming to Bulgaria and is not is not much into wine? What 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 you say? This is gonna be good with Bulgarian food, for example. Uh, it depends what kind of Bulgarian food you have. For example, if you have fish and uh -huh. uh, um, seafood, chicken, this light foods, I would say this one is really great. I would recommend the Varninski misket, Vrachanski misket. A nice, um, a nice Chardonnay. We have really good Chardonnay wines in Bulgaria. Okay. Uh, I would recommend a nice uh, rosé from Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir makes great rosé. Uh -huh. um, and if you have uh, barbecue or barbecue grilled, grilled, or grilled or meat, grilled like, or, yeah, what you... or red meat, I would really recommend Gamza. Gums. I would really recommend Mavrut, a really nice Mavrut. Mavrut, by the way, has a great potential of um, um, aging, so you can have great, great, great wines. Uh, Gamza, Mavrut, Rubin is a great variety, also mm -hmm. for red meats. Super. We are in the Stone Forest uh, winery today. If somebody's... Stone Forest is in front of Povitini Kameni, which is an attraction. In Barna is the only desert with a rocks formation around Barna. 
in, in and in Europe. If somebody's coming to Covitni Kamani, then you do have some shop shop that people could buy a bottle of wine and, and take it. Yes, yes. We you can always buy from here. We can organize a nice tasting in this beautiful room. We can have uh, you can have a walk in the um, in the in the heart of the our production. You can see how it's made. You can see the the, the grapes. Super. Super, well, this is from us for today. We want to send Katya to open the doors of the winery for us, to come to see, to make our pictures here. And have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.